This video is a preview of a project that I'm working on to generate crossword puzzles. And this program, I am programming it in Java, should be cross-platform. And the reason I wanted to put out this preview is so that if any crossword puzzle fans or programmers want to make suggestions on what I could do here, please put them in the comments down below. Um, and so there's a lot of programs that will generate crosswords out there, but I like a project, and this one's going to be a little different. And one of the things is that I am adding these themes where I am categorizing all my word database with different themes. And so you can select them, and it will prioritize those words for in its search for building the crossword puzzle. So anyway, I've only got a thousand words in my database right now. So that's going to, that's something I'll probably be working on for years. Keep on building that up. And so anyway, here's how it works. I'm going to select the option one to select the puzzle size. And I first started with some macros and those are just kind of for experimentation to get it working. And right now uh, I've been working on this mini size, the five by five. Uh, and then I'll get into the MIDI size and then hopefully the full size at some point. So I'm going to do this option six for the mini and um, I'll select. So here's all the different grids or patterns that you can do. And uh, so, you know, it just shows you, you know, the white squares versus the black squares, which are in X's right here. So I'm just going to do G to select that size. And now I'm going to go ahead and generate the puzzle. And so it's thinking, so please be patient. I don't want to have to edit this video. I hope you speed up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, so anyway, up here, it says it was successful and took 7.4 seconds. It didn't find any duplicate words in here. Okay, uh, right now my algorithm is eliminating duplicate words, but that causes it to take more time to do that. So what I've been wondering is like, as my word database grows, is duplicates going to be rare? If it is, that's be an option that I could disable, you know, to speed it up. So anyway, that's just, that's just why that's in there uh, for that in the future. Also excludes. Um, now this isn't something I'm uh, eliminating automatically. Um, but just so you can see if any exist, uh, typically the, different tenses of the same word. So for example, if if it finds trap as a word, uh, I don't want to use traps, plural, or past tense, trapped. And so it will let you know if any of the excluded words are in there. And so uh, difficult words, I'm marking certain words that require fairly specific knowledge, and that's just a judgment call on my on myself is difficult words to let you know if it found any. And so anyway, after you've generated a puzzle, I can go E to generate the clues. And so here are the clues and there's multiple clues for each word. So I could generate the clues again and get something different right here. Okay. So now let's look at the, so that's just generating a puzzle. And eventually I haven't, I'm going to export it to HTML because of course the, the user interface, the end user, will be a web interface. So I'll export there. Uh, so here's a couple of other options I did. Word database summary. So that tells me how many words of each link I have in my database. And a theme database summary. And this is, this is a lot of work in progress. So for example, mythology, I have 23 words in there. So if I were to select mythology for my theme, then it's going to prioritize those words first in its building of the crossword puzzle. Okay. Uh, so now uh, let's, uh, let's look at the database, which I'm using Excel to do that. And just for example, so here's the words. Here's shoe, uh, plural of it, shoes. And so here are the different clues. I've separated the clues by semicolon in my database. And also um, the, category, the category of these clues. So for example, a shoe could be different categories. It could be clothes or it could be gambling, like, in, like when you 
uh, dill blackjack your your cards. They call that the shoe. Uh, and I'm sure as time goes on, they'll I'll figure out other categories and uh, uh, other clues to put in there for that. Oh, and here's the exclusions right here. So like if it selects shoes, shoe, then exclude. Don't look for the word shoes and vice versa. Okay, so anyway, uh, that's going to be a lot, a whole lot of work uh, putting together this database. And uh, the programming of it was a little, uh, little more difficult than I was thinking. And because uh, the recursive algorithm, the recursive function that actually builds the puzzle, had to actually think about it, how to do that. So anyway, it's a little trial and error, but it's working pretty good now. Um, so basically this is how it works. So let's say that you are looking to fill in three. So the algorithm is looking to fill in three across. Well, it says, okay, we need, to, we need uh, five letter words and they need to begin with a W and A. And so what it's going to do is go to the database and pull out all of those words. And if there's any themed words to, uh, matching your theme, it will put those up top and then it randomizes them uh, so that it, you know, hopefully it will build different puzzles every time after you get enough words. And so then it will go ahead and put in the uh, say, okay, how about wagon like that? And then, uh, then it will go to three down and it will say, okay, find all the words that begin with C-A-G, the five letter words. And here's the thing. If it doesn't find any, then it recurses back. It will recurse back to here. Okay. And so then it's like, oh, okay, well, let's look for the next word that begins, five letter word that begins with W-A. And then it will try that one. And, you know, and then if we get all the way through this, all the way through all the words, then it recurses back to the previous one that it was working on. So that's the recursive algorithm and uh, pretty fun to write. But it was a little difficult, partly because of the themes that I've put in there and stuff. Uh, but it seems to be working now. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. And again, if you got any suggestions, then that would be awesome.